Okay, I'll try to continue this thing here. Yeah. All right, so good. Concentrate on you since I think this is going to be uh, deleted. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. I mean, like this here. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. this thing here. All I'm about to read to you is uh, the rest of Jeremiah 51, which to me seemed very prophetic almost 25 years ago uh, when Iraq invaded Kuwait. It seemed to uh, click. Gosh, that was 24 years ago, actually. Uh, the, the things that happened uh, up until the Saddam statue went down, uh, really seem to uh, fit for a while. And maybe they will again if uh, Russia comes to the aid of the Kurds. If Russia comes to the aid of the Kurds, I'll start thinking that Jeremiah 1551 is about to be fulfilled completely. So I'll start it here. All right. The Lord hath opened his armory, and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Chaldea is actually located where Kuwait is now. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let none, nothing of her be left. And I thought that was fulfilled when they blow up those storehouses containing weapons of mass destruction from you know, the UN to blow them up. Slay all her bullocks, let them go down to slaughter. Woe unto them. For their day is come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon, which I thought felt was Iraq in our time, to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. And if that means the actual temple, then this tells me that God really holds a grudge. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that to bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof let, let, let none thereof escape. Recompense unto her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Holy One of Israel. And I thought this was uh, talked about Babylon, but it never happened because Saddam never destroyed Islam, never destroyed Israel. So I'm thinking that Babylon is no longer Iraq, but is now ISIS and Islam. I'll, I'll tell you why later on here. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day. And that's happened a few times since Iraq invaded Kuwait. Actually, since uh, the Gulf, first Gulf War. And they did fall in the streets a lot, and it looks like they're about to when Russia gets involved. Behold, I'm against thee, O thou the most proud, saith the, the Lord of hosts, for thy day is come, the time of that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise him up, shall raise him up, and I'll kindle fire in his cities. In other words, it's not just Baghdad, not just Babylon. It says cities. So you're talking like your Mosul and your uh, Basra and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not just Baghdad, not just Babylon, but cities. 
and it shall devour all round about him. That yeah, round about him? Maliki, who knows who the him is? I used to think that was Saddam. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Uh, that was during uh, Babylon captivity, I believe, here. Their Redeemer is strong, the Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land, and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. So, looks like uh, something big is going to happen. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon. And Chaldeans, to me, Chaldea is located where present-day Kuwait is located. And the inhabitants of Babylon, to me, which I think is talking about Iraq, which I feel is now ISIS, and which is Islam, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men, a sword is upon her liars, the ones that do Takiya, and they shall dote, a sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed, a sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people in the midst of her, and, and they shall become as women. And when you want to know something weird? When uh, the Iraqis gave up during the first Gulf War, Saddam said that, said that he said that they appeared as women. They're kissing our American feet and, and hands. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed. And that happened at the end of the last Gulf War. Uh, that happened during uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. The museums were robbed. Of course, some of the stuff was returned. A drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up. And that happened a lot, well, because the, the water treatment plants were bombed and stuff like that. And Saddam, uh, during um, the 1990s, he dammed the uh, marsh, the, the place, the, 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 the rivers to the marsh Arabs and dried them up so he could go in send the snakes and get them better. And I'll read to you later why what happened here. Yeah. Uh, they shall be dried up for this is the land of graven image and images and they are mad upon their idols now that's kind of hard because I don't see Muslims really being with idols except for the black stone and Muhammad and I and Allah therefore the wild beasts of the desert and the wild beasts of the land shall dwell therein and the owl shall dwell therein and it shall be no more inhabited forever neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation but Iraq has been dwelt in from generation to generation. And Babylon has been rebuilt in some parts. So that means to me it hasn't quite happened yet. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there. Neither shall any, of son, neither any son of man dwell therein. In other words, it sounds like maybe, if this is talking about Iraq in our time with ISIS, if this is talking about ISIS, in Babylon, uh, Sunni Islam, then it sounds like Iran's going to use its snooze, you know, and just to make the place desolate. Behold, the people shall come from the north. And I think that's the Kurds. I've always been thinking it was the Kurds ever since uh, the end of the first Gulf War when the Shiites rose up and the Kurds rose up. Uh, oh man, the people of the north. And a great nation. And I think this is probably Russia because I don't see, I really don't see Oblamer coming to help the Kurds overthrow ISIS, who he created. I mean, Oblamer created ISIS, so why would he destroy them, you know? He used our taxpayer money and arms to fund and train ISIS in Jordan. And I just don't see why he would turn and destroy them. So I'm thinking that this great nation that comes with the people of the North, which I think are the Kurds, will be Russia. And many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth, like Bahrain, the United, uh, United Arab Emirates, Syria. Even Syria is involved, attacking ISIS there. But the Bahrain and stuff, they're awakened to try to help ISIS, since, you know, and, and Saudi Arabia and Yemen, since uh, they're Sunni. They shall hold a bow in the lance. This, I think, is talking about the Kurds. They are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses. Everyone put in array like man to the battle against the O daughter of Babylon. Now, 
I don't see horses. Um, so maybe this is way in the future where we run out of gas, I don't know. But it could be, maybe the horses are like metaphoric for tanks, who knows what. The king of Babylon hath heard the report of them, and his hands wax feeble. Now Saddam hands do wax feeble, for sure, I'm pretty sure. Anguish took hold of him, pains as the wound of travail. Behold, he shall come up like a, a lion from the swelling of Jordan, and the habitation was strong. And I think this would happen during the first Gulf War, when Israel went up to nuke Baghdad, but was called back. But I'll make them suddenly run away from her. And who is a chosen man, that I may appoint over thee? For he who is like me, and who will appoint me the time? And who is that shepherd that will stand before me? In other words, right when you think it's going to happen or something major is going to happen, no, because it's not the time. So I, probably nothing will happen this time, too. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, that he hath taken against Babylon in his purposes, that he may that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So, it sounds like whoever even draws out ISIS, whatever, you know, hope they're going to get desolate with them. Because then it says this, at the noise of the taking of Babylon, which I think is probably ISIS in this time in our time, ISIS, the earth is moved and a cry is heard among the nations. And the reason why I think ISIS is now Babylon, not Iraq, but Babylon, I think ISIS is now Babylon, is because it's now the hindermost of the nations. It's the last of the nations. And you find out in Jeremiah 51 that it, is, it says the hindermost, the hindermost of the nations. So, and right now, right now the latest country to be built, or to be formed is, is, which they want to spread out. It's no longer ISIS, but it's going to be the whole place. But I think Russia, the king, the, 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 the nation from the north is going to destroy it. Destroy Islam. By 